Excitement enveloping everyone here because it is a huge occasion. The Champions League final. Who's going to be crowned club kings of Europe? Well, there's nothing quite like this occasion. Welcome to the UEFA Champions League final. The best two teams in Europe this season preparing to go head-to-head -head for the crown. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined as always on these big occasions by Stuart Robson. It's Barcelona facing Milan. Well, Derek, it doesn't come any better than this, does it? This has the makings of an absolute classic. These are two brilliant teams, and at the moment, I can't separate them. And here's the starting 11 for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen in goal. Ilkay Gundogan plays alongside Frenkie de Jong in the centre of midfield. And the starting role on attack today is handed to Robert Lewandowski. This is the Milan starting 11. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. And beginning the game up front today, Tammy Abraham. He's got to have a go here. Well, knocked on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. Pulisic. Tomori. Based on recent form, Stuart, you can make a strong case for Robert Lewandowski to have a big say in the proceedings today. Well, Derek, we know he's a good all-round finisher, but I think his greatest attribute is his heading ability. He seems to hang in the air, he's got great technique when the ball comes onto his head, and he usually hits the target. That's his greatest skill. Williams. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. He's using his strength to good effect. Oh, but they've lost it now. Vanessa. It's been threaded by Lewandowski. And the keeper more than equal to it. He read it well. Leal. This is looking threatening, but quick thinking defensively. Well, had no intention of losing out. Lewandowski. Lewandowski, a real opening now. And they've scored! First goal in this season's UEFA Champions League final. Well, here we can see just how easily Lewandowski goes past his marker. And Lewandowski does the rest. He hits through the back of the ball with such power, it's a great finish. Well, Milan get the ball moving again, hoping to find a response to that setback. Foul there, free kick awarded. Well, he's admonished him rather than cautioning him. Well, spot on from the referee. He's made it clear. Another foul, and he will get a yellow card.
Milan doing well to regain possession. Options in the middle. Loftus cheek. Benasser. Now with Loftus cheek. What a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. Barcelona free kick. It'll be here. Martinez it's with Gundogan Lewandowski and back with Gundogan well, passing moves like this will build confidence shaping to shoot just can't get it past him blocks again trying his luck Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Tomori. Kea. Tajani Reinders. Super tackle and they've won possession. A chopping challenge and the referee has got to have a big think about it. And yellow it is, a booking. Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Ronald Araujo. Jules Kunde on the ball. Really good challenge. Leal. And defensive play to be applauded. Ronald Araujo. Being egged on by the crowd. Textbook defending inside the box. Might be a chance to break. And an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. And the defenders know they need to get tighter. Ter Stegen. Well, they're a bit like a passing machine, and you can understand why they want to play it that way in front as they are. Well, Barcelona have had most of the ball in the last 15 minutes and look like scoring every time they go forward. They do need to extend their lead, though, while they're playing so well. Yes, it's going to plan, and they might be able to carve out another chance. Kunde. And options in the centre. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Gundogan. Rafinha. Could be just narrowly off target. Caio Tomori. Wasteful from Milan. Considerable progress made by Gundogan as the attack continues. Brilliantly blocked. 
And Barcelona get ready for the set-piece routine, hoping to increase their lead. And he's fired over the corner. Oh, that's not a good clearance. Lewandowski. He could pick out a teammate. Pulisic. Tammy Abraham. And lining it up. Really good build up, but no end product. And offside by a very small margin. So inching towards half time and Barca with the lead. Stuart, what strikes you about what they've put into the first half? Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going at half time if it stays like this. Lewandowski. On to De Jong. Shot attempted. Oh, he's blocked it. Well, there's an example of how to press high up. And well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Can they use their pace? Well, it fizzled out. Rafinha. Kunde. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. And the clearance over the byline means a corner. And taken short. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Barcelona have lost possession. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Kea. Ben Asser. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Oh, genuine chance! Well, they're doing their best to get on level terms here. Well, it's a decent effort, but they're still trailing. They need something special here. Rafinha. They need to get tighter here. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Well, there we have it. We're at the halfway mark now here at Wembley. Well, back in business, Milan trailing going into the second half. Will they come up with the right response?
Leal. Able to skip past his man. Easy save. The free kick decision goes the way of Barcelona. Frankie de Jong. Gundogan. Quite possibly a yellow card as the flow was stopped. Well, he's gone into the referee's notebook. And you can't be surprised. That was a poor challenge, you have to say. And now Lewandowski! Well, Milan are hanging on here. Had they gone two down, they really would be up against it. And snuffing out the danger. That's useful play. It's there for him. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. So, back underway, but the scoreline standing at 2-0. An effective challenge. Barcelona free kick, it'll be here. Day. Cross blocked. Gundogan. Spot on with that tackle. Loftus cheek. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Rinders. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Williams. Balde. And it's with Inigo Martinez. Ronald Araujo. It's with Gundogan. And Lewandowski moving through the gears. Will he shoot? The fans hope so. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. And straight out of play by the goalkeeper, and it'll be a throw-in. Frankie de Jong. Oh, possibilities inside the box. 
cleared away comprehensively. 30 minutes to go then. Araujo. Inigo Martinez. Alex Balde. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. Barca recovering possession well. Inigo Martinez. Alex Balde. Gundogan. And a textbook interception. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. Will he play it in? And a very good challenge. Trying to handle the pressure. Ben Asser. A really good pass. A decisive clearance it was. Lewandowski. He's holding the ball up here effectively, waiting for support to arrive. Ben Asser. It's a promising Milan move. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Leal. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. And into the last 20 minutes. Disappointing for Barcelona to give it away like that. Rafinha. Chance to cross. Really fine piece of defending play to break it up. And he's in. A goal! Just what they needed. Still plenty of life in this match. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, the ball is rolling again. And Milan find themselves within touching distance here. Kunde. Araujo Balde That's useful play But they dealt with the threat first And the referee has awarded the free kick He tried to play advantage But it wasn't forthcoming De Jong well I must say no shortage of space for Barcelona well didn't miss by very much and never easy to strike his on the volley in that fashion well from that range though it should be a goal at least it should hit the target Lewandowski well read to put an end to that attack 
effective piece of pressing. Good tackle, take it away. And now the visionary Lewandowski. Oh, he wasn't necessarily favourite to win that challenge. Well, this game is ebbing away. Can Barcelona get over the line? Well, it's been a really good contest, you have to say. But overall, I think they've just about deserved to be in the lead here. Can they now just see this game through for what will be an excellent win? Now with De Jong, Miko Williams. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left and just one goal between the sides. Tammy Abraham. Kea has it. Yusuf Fofana. The clock is against Milan, but they've got the ability still to hit back. This could be the equaliser. Oh, I can't believe it! Twists and turns in the closing stages. And it's anyone's guess who's going to lift the trophy. Incredible! Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. Well, it has taken a Herculean effort for them to get back to level pegging under these trying circumstances. Inigo Martinez. Gundogan. Barcelona on the front foot in anticipation of scoring the winner. Can he put them in front? No is the answer to the question. And that could be so important at this stage. Well, will they get another chance? That would surely have won the game for them. It's a weighted pass. Lewandowski. Oh, that surely had to go in, but marvellous defending. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have three extra minutes. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Araujo. Now with De Jong. Rafinha. Jules Koundé on the ball. Nicely timed tackle. Milan still going forward as the minutes stick away. Even Steven, can he put it away? Well, the keeper has pulled out all the stops there. Well, it's a great chance to win the game, but what a brilliant piece of goalkeeping that was. It's an outstanding save. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. Understandable that fatigue might set in. A strength-sapping night for all concerned as the first period of extra time begins. He's using his strength to good effect. Lewandowski. He's protecting it well. And he read it well defensively. Milan showing good wins. Balde. 
Pedri. Here's Rafinha. And the referee has given the advantage to Barca. De Jong. Disappointing for the players of the centre that it didn't reach them. Tajani Reinders. Good tackle. Well, that's how to shield the ball and control it. Inigo Martinez distributing it well. Well, brilliant work to keep that one in play. Milan moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. Crossing possibilities. Well, the keeper in possession to prevent another goal from him. Well, he's a massive threat. That really could have been his second goal there. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. Just wasn't going to give that ball away. Kunde. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. De Jong. Oh, this is looking promising. They're all doing their bit to keep them out. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Ben Asser, and that puts them in position. Chance to take the lead. A good and fair challenge. Doing everything possible to keep possession. Rafinha. His determination there for all to see. And they have possession again. And making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Barcelona have been awarded the throw in. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Gabby might be able to set up the chance could be a goal that's two for him today they simply can't stop him no wonder he's celebrating well here's the replay and it all starts off with that cross into the box just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it and he makes the finish look so easy what a good goal that is The first period of extra time is over. 15 minutes left. Maybe after that, penalties. We'll see. And so the drama continues here. We're into the second period of extra time. Well, great read there to intercept. Christensen. So to the keeper. Brilliantly blocked. Gabby. 
And the counter looks on here. Options available. Frankie de Jong. Rafinha. Takes the shot. But into the keeper's gloves. Chukweze. Kerr has it. Given away by Milan. And he has options available. Kunde. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Time and the scoreline working against Milan, but they're not out of it. Free kick awarded then by the referee. <laughs> Delivered into the box. Well, thumped clear. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. De Jong, can they use their pace? Oh, off the post, still alive. And after all that, the keeper clutches it with glee. Well, no wonder he's relieved. That was so close, inches away from a very good goal. Care. And it's with Inigo Martinez. Well, five minutes remaining in this, the second period of extra time. Just wasn't going to part with the ball. Oh, he's given it away. Well, no time to waste. Can they find an equaliser? Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Christensen, that's our Stegen. Well, a growing sense of frustration. Just can't get near the ball. Williams. Good idea. Just needs to stay calm. And a save that keeps them believing. Well, he's given them a chance with that save, as you said. But will they get another opportunity? I'm not sure. Favouring the short one. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Chukwese. And delivered into the box. And now the wait is over. Barcelona have done it. The Champions League trophy will return to Catalonia. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side. It's Barcelona's Champions League. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so 